Felix the Cat from Konami has a fairly vague title since it's essentially a compilation of classic games starring the iconic cartoon character. If we're talking about the true pioneers of cartoon, then Felix was right there alongside Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny, laying the early foundation for anime shorts and paving the way for the medium to exist and thrive. Felix is as cheeky as they come, and his magical bag of tricks sets him apart from his peers. Felix the Cat is a compilation that includes the original NES release, the Game Boy port, and, for the very first time, the Japanese Famicom version. The game was originally a pretty late release for the NES, and the Japanese counterpart, having completed development, was never released until now for some reason. At their core, these games are reminiscent of typical platformers of their time, unmistakably influenced by Super Mario Bros. and Kirby's Dream Land. Despite their lack of originality, they more than make up for it with smooth execution of sound fundamentals and were overly pretty decent games to promote a licensed property. The Konami release is a fairly barebones remastered compilation. There are three titles in the main menu, each offering a few filter and resolution settings, and of course, the ability to rewind the gameplay. Beyond that, there's not much else. That being said, the games are faithful to their original source code, and they look and play fine on modern hardware. The NES game holds up fairly nicely. The graphics showcase the 8-bit hardware being pushed to its limits with large and expressive character sprites. The core gameplay involves literally getting through thematic stages before facing the boss of each world. It's quite straightforward and a bit on the easier side. This is a wholesome platformer designed for younger players. Gameplay involves collecting magical power-ups that allow Felix to draw from his trademark bag of tricks. These include new costumes, new vehicles, and even animals. The bag seems to be an answer for any situation, and each of the tricks complements the level design and even the boss encounters quite nicely. Whether you're driving a car soaring through the air on a balloon, there's a charming gameplay variety here, especially when things are changing up from a level design standpoint, with some stages taking place underwater and even outer space. Still, from start to end, this feels like a largely familiar journey. The game felt derivative, even its initial release, and feels that way even more now. The Japanese Famicom version joins the NES release, but these are essentially identical games aside from language differentiations and maybe a few cosmetic changes here and there. However, it's interesting to see a previously unreleased version of the game finally complete. Alongside the Game Boy version, which is more or less a faithful to the main NES version, but obviously watered down and abridged, Felix the Cat is far less impressive as a monochrome portable platformer, with frequent slowdowns and shorter levels. At best, it's an interesting comparison to the main game, although most of the main character sprites hold up quite nicely here as well. And there, honestly, there's not much to say about Felix the Cat. It's likely a pickup for those who might have played these games in their childhood and watched the cartoons they're based on. As a character, Felix may not quite have the same recognition and mass appeal anymore, and seeing how these games are textbook platformers of their era, it's hard to sell anyone other than nostalgic fans. It deserves some credit for preserving licensed games as a compilation, but the package itself is a bare-bones release of a derivative platformer. Noisy Pixel is giving Felix the Cat a 6.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy Pixel.